This is Jeffrey Aaron reporting tonight from Frankfurt, Germany. Out of Russia comes Christian Becker, Lufthansa Cargo's director of Russia and CIS, who offers an inside look at the carrier's cargo strategy. Christian Becker speaks of the importance of developing a new hub for air cargo and what lies ahead. He also reveals how Lufthansa keeps up its load factors and its yields and what the drivers are that will increase market presence in the months and years ahead. That's what we say in Russia. And uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Christian Becker. I'm the responsible manager for Lufthansa Cargo in Russia and the CIS. And uh, I'm interested in your cargo. I'd like to be your provider for logistical solutions. So please do not hesitate to contact me or my team together. We are a very dedicated team and uh, love cargo. So if you need my assistance or my team's assistance, please let me know. My email address is christian.becker at dlh.de. So I'm here for you and why don't you be my next partner? So Herr Becker, can you tell me what the uh, top priority now is now in your position in Russia as the director of the Russian uh, cargo fortunes of Lufthansa Cargo? I think there were several topics. The first was uh, Krasnoyarsk because you may know that we uh, moved our hub, our technical hub from Astana yep. to Krasnoyarsk. That was one very uh, high priority. I think uh, we were very successful in this regard because in fact we managed uh, to implement the hub in Krasnoyarsk 4th of uh, June and our target was 1st of June. So I think that was a great success. All processes are running very well. We do have all flights coming in. We have 20 flights now, meanwhile, 22 flights, um, tendency slightly increasing. All flights are punctual, so uh, we can be very proud of that. It's a big achievement. Uh, all our support uh, topics, such as uh, tools and um, also the uh, spare parts, etc., have passed customs, so we are full operatable and can service our aircrafts in the worst case if we had technical issues there. So that was a great success. We are furthermore, of course, on our way to increase our revenues, uh, no question, one of the top priorities, especially in this uh, situation of crisis. So um, I must say, we're quite happy with our results. Uh, we had a slow start, but uh, continuously improving, partially even above previous year's figures um, lately. Uh, we don't have so much the big problem of yield in uh, Russia, because in fact we have a very good uh, USB of being uh, present in the decentral regions of, the, of Russia. Uh, we had a slight problem with Domodedovo due to our move from Sheremetyevo to Domodedovo, but are very much focusing on uh, this station. We've just achieved uh, very high load factors on our narrow body aircrafts, um, which seemed to be a constraint, but uh, obviously now we have very good solutions for our customers and uh, uplift quite a substantial amount. So uh, Domodedovo is uh, growing again, I'm very happy about that. Our other stations such as Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and so on are running quite well. We had the implementation of the flights going through um, Uzbekistan for example in Tashkent with Aerologic so that was also a success. We found uh, solutions together with the airport load factors are increasing, that's very much an import driven market, we don't have all too much export cargo but also an important uh, topic for us and of course it's uh, overall for our region you can imagine uh, we are looking into imports, um, a five fold, now how do you say, the yeah. five fold of the, our export is imports because basically the market is longing for products from Europe, Asia and the US, so that's uh, one of our big uh, priorities to make sure that we have uh, all, uh, all import markets open, uh, secure imports, uh, have uh, safe delivery to our customers, and sure. that's very much uh, valued by our customers. 
If you'd like further information on developing air cargo topics, go to www.aircargonews.com. If you'd like a free subscription to Air Cargo News and to our thrice weekly publication, Flying Typers, write to me, Jeffrey, at aircargonews.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching and keep them flying.